The book itself is a collection of poems. Thematically, they face things like illness and death. There's a storyline of a, of a secretary who's sort of battling her demons. There's some storylines of kind of the transformation of relationships. But the, the work itself as a collection kind of works towards something larger than the sum of its parts. And I think ultimately that ends up being about um, the ways in which we're all interconnected, the relationship that we have towards each other and to our surroundings. It's sort of looking at something broader than that. And I think as a whole, that's sort of what the collection is trying to do. The idea, I think, really looks at a lot around the idea of ego and the idea of taking on the ego and confronting it and breaking it down over and over again. Each poem kind of looks at that idea and tries to examine the self or the ego and then step outside of it to kind of achieve some greater meaning in the world. The city it plays an enormous important role in the sense that it's the stage, it's a lot of the, the, the setting for, for the poems themselves and so it creates the backdrop. But it also has this omniscient presence. It's always there at the periphery and sometimes it plays more of a direct role like Toronto as witness, Toronto as fortune teller, Toronto as protagonist, antagonist, so it plays a lot of different features. But ultimately it's just a very faithful presence throughout the book. There's not many awards that do cross genres. I kind of love that aspect of it in the sense that it sort of democratizes the playing field in terms of genres that way and it opens my book up to an audience that wouldn't normally go towards poetry. What's kind of lovely is that I was just looking at the past nominees and the past award winners and it, it's got a really incredibly impressive uh, collection of writers historically in terms of other people that have been nominated and so it's just it's quite wonderful as well to be a part of that legacy of imagination that takes place in the city as well when you kind of look at it over the years it, it paints a pretty wonderful portrait of the creativity that exists in the city and I'm happy to be a part of it.